Today we will uncover the harrowing fate that awaited Soviet military women captured by German Nazis during World War II. In the face of the enemy, gender meant little, as German soldiers showed no mercy to women or even children. So, let's get started. In a powerful story told by Daniel Grant and Claudia Weiler in their 1976 documentary, they reveal the unimaginable cruelty inflicted upon a wounded soldier. The story takes us back to a time when women in the military were captured and faced unimaginable horrors during the war. German officers treated her with extreme cruelty, showing their twisted idea of power. Despite her painful wounds, the soldier bravely fought to stay conscious and remain standing, even though her legs were weakened by gunfire. Every step she took toward the waiting vehicle caused intense pain, making her gasp in agony. Her screams filled the air, breaking the silence and reflecting the torment she had endured. Instead of tears, she had sweat running down her face, showing the immense physical and emotional strain she experienced. But before we go any further, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. In 1976, discussing such a topic was considered taboo, and the memories of women who had experienced German captivity held unimaginable cruelty, fear, and sorrow. It is important to acknowledge that Claudia Weiler's face was not an exception. While much has been said about the horrendous treatment of men in Nazi camps, little attention has been given to the experiences of girls and women. Unpleasant details were often avoided, yet there were numerous female service members who served on the front lines during World War II as snipers, nurses, pilots, signalers, and anti-aircraft gunners. Remarkably, very little is known about the atrocities inflicted upon female service members by the Germans when they were captured. Despite Germany being a signatory to the Geneva Convention on Prisoners of War, its provisions were flagrantly disregarded on the Eastern Front. According to the Third Reich's plans, female prisoners were subjected to near-universal extermination, rendering their care as prisoners of war futile. In fact, an unspoken order was in place equating women in military uniforms with partisans, making them eligible for immediate execution. All of this was driven by practical considerations. Men in concentration camps could be used for labor, while women, typically overworked, met a swift demise. In the depths of World War II, a remarkable phenomenon emerged. Around a million women bravely served in the Soviet army. Astonishingly, 80,000 of them held officer ranks, defying the prevailing beliefs of the Third Reich. To the Nazis, these courageous women were equated with forest bandits, mere partisans, rather than recognized as full-fledged soldiers. Surprisingly, there is no official order from the Third Reich's leadership addressing how to handle female service members, or at least, if one existed, it was swiftly destroyed. However, buried deep within the archives of the Fourth Nazi Army, a chilling document surfaced, bearing the signature of Field Marshal General Gunther von Kluge. His comments sent shivers down the spine. Women in military uniform were to be shot on sight, not taken as prisoners. One can only speculate that similar orders, lurking at the level of various Nazi formations, sealed the fate of countless Soviet women. The true extent of their tragic demise remains unknown. From the early years of the war until 1944, instances of capture and internment in concentration camps were a rare exception. More often than not, these brave girls from the Soviet Union faced the horrors of the battlefield, falling victim to the vicious reprisals of the Nazis. Tens of thousands of them suffered immensely, enduring torture and abuse before their untimely demise. These chilling accounts were collected from the testimonies of fellow servicemen and the Soviet Army, who amidst the offensive bore witness to the unimaginable brutality inflicted upon these valiant women. December 1941, near Moscow, a haunting discovery sent shivers down the spines of those who witnessed it. The lifeless bodies of numerous women, held captive by the Germans, lay scattered. These women were not just innocent civilians, but valiant soldiers who had fought bravely. Sadly, their stories were marred by cruelty and torment. Oleg Kazarinov, a writer and reenactor, unearths the chilling truth in his book, Unknown Faces of War. Through the excerpts he quotes from the notes of German soldiers, we gain a chilling glimpse into the horrors they unleashed. One such passage recounts the encounter with a beautiful woman amidst a camp clearance operation. Carl and his comrade led her to the operating room, where her cries and bites echoed through the air. Tragically, a mere 40 minutes later, her life was extinguished by a single gunshot. I've endured scratches and bites, but now I'm taking it in stride. A gun to my head, cooling the chaos. Just recently, a Russian girl unleashed havoc, slaying an officer with a grenade. Now we stripped them down and searched them. In a book, an elusive quote from an archival document reveals a chilling truth. Picture this. Near the city of Melitopol lies the village of AKA Mavka, where Nazis halted a car carrying two gravely wounded Soviet soldiers and a brave nurse. 
the girl was seized and dragged into the fields. Amidst the torment, she met her tragic fate, shot by her oppressors. In 1983, Svetlana Alexevich unveiled the chilling account of a female officer who beheld the lifeless body of a young nurse, her once vibrant hair now gray, bearing the scars of Nazi torture. Death on the battlefield was not the worst fate for women in the USSR's armed forces. A far more sinister horror awaited them in the concentration camps. Here, within the pages, lies the testimony of a prisoner, a Soviet army major subjected to relentless torment upon her arrival at the Stutthof concentration camp in 1944. Stripped of her dignity, they snapped pictures, reveling in her helplessness. Their laughter echoes through time. From defiance to resilience, her breaking point arrived when she spat in the face of her tormentor. What followed was a macabre spectacle as she was forcibly thrust into the crematorium's fiery abyss. Massacres were a grim reality in concentration camps, yet amidst the darkness, instances emerged that astonished even the SS officers. In the Ravensbrück concentration camp of 1943, captured nurses, along with doctors, took a stand, refusing to comply with the Germans' deplorable orders. They staunchly declined to sew uniforms for the Nazis, citing the prohibition of military forced labor under the Geneva Convention. Hungry and shivering, these courageous women were driven to march through the biting cold winds without proper attire. But undeterred, they began to sing in unison, a chorus of resilience that resonated throughout the camp. Witnessing this uprising, fellow prisoners poured out of the barracks, applauding the defiant marchers. The commandant, confronted by this spirited riot, halted the punishment and commanded everyone to return to their places, subsequently assigning them to other duties that no longer involved sewing uniforms. Ravensbrück stood as the singular specialized concentration camp for women in Germany, bearing witness to the passage of over 130,000 women during the war years. Tragically, 92,000 of these courageous souls succumbed to exhaustion, diseases, and relentless bullying. Amidst the chaos, Soviet servicemen arrived, including a remarkable group of nurses and signalers who fought valiantly in the Crimean battles. However, their battle led them to a chilling destination, a concentration camp where they were confined in a separate unit, isolated from others. The conditions they faced were even harsher, testing their resilience for survival. While it's, pos While it's possible that Ravensbrück offered relatively better conditions compared to other camps, this did not spare the female service members from relentless humiliation and imminent death. Hunger, grueling labor, and icy walls claimed their lives, while the SS guards added to their torment with relentless acts of degradation. However, it was only towards the end of the war, in the autumn of 1944, when the Germans sensed their impending defeat, that a decree was issued by the German Security Service. It stated that women prisoners of war should be treated under the same conditions as men, except for those who were Jewish or involved in political activities. They were to be executed. Tragically, this order came too late for the majority of these brave military girls. They had already perished in Nazi concentration camps or on the unforgiving battlefield. Many revelations were shared in Aaron Schneer's gripping book, Captivity. Within its pages, a startling truth emerges. Upon arrival at the concentration camp, every woman underwent examination by a gynecologist. German doctors were dumbfounded by the discovery that eight out of 10 unmarried Soviet captives were still virgins. This revelation became their cruel sentence, rendering Soviet women prisoners of war even more susceptible to the Nazis' despicable acts of bullying. The sheer magnitude of their suffering cannot be understated as over a million Soviet women were swept up in the tumult of war. Those who survived the battlefield only to be captured endured unimaginable horrors, to the point where some even found themselves envying their fallen comrades. The true extent of the atrocities inflicted upon these female prisoners remains shrouded in darkness, with no comprehensive statistics documenting the number of lives lost to execution and torture. It is an abhorrent reality, one that must be confronted and exposed. While justice may elude those responsible, long since departed from this world, it is imperative that people become aware. With that said, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.